VA Party Co. Book One. Tragedy Never Quits. Chapter One. The Beginning of Fear. Look at this place. What a disgusting kids restaurant. Pizza all over the floor, kids germs everywhere. Gross. I don't understand how my father can keep these places in check. I can't complain, he does make a lot of money. Okay, let's just get this over with. I got his little to-do list. All I gotta do is check on the animatronic called Cortez the Potty Fox. Hmm, weird name. I assume he's in the back room. He started walking to the back room. An employee yelled at him, saying, Hey, you, you can't go back there. I'm Victor Adrian's son. My dad owns the damn company. Why don't you show some respect? Jeez. He went into the back room. The generators were loud and annoying. The animatronic sat there, lifeless and still. Look at this thing. It's freaking creepy. Then again, this was something designed by my own father, so if it's creepy, then why should I complain? He looks closer at the fox. He notices a crank. This must be a springlock suit. Interesting. I can wear this, can't I? He started to ponder to himself, hmm. then got an idea. I mean, he wanted me to make sure the animatronic was in working order. It wouldn't hurt to try it on and make sure the suit part still works. <laughs> yeah, like I could care if it works or not. He had gotten to the suit. It fit perfectly with his height and size. He started to impersonate the fox. Hey, look at me! I'm a big stupid fox! I like to tell kids to eat pizza or some shit! <laughs> he started heavily breathing. What the hell? Why is it so hot in this damn thing? He tried taking off the suit. Uh, uh, it's stuck! Damn it! Come on, stupid old robot! The suit started creaking. Something snapped. He started yelling at the top of his lungs. You could hear his bones breaking, his muscles being squished. No one could hear him scream. The generators were just loud enough to block out his screams of pain. He collapsed. His blood got all over the floor. A few minutes later, the employee from earlier came into the back room. He saw the animatronic. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. He ran to the office to call the owner. Mr. Adrian, hi. I work at Party Power Pizzeria. There's an animatronic in the back room, and it's dripping blood, and... Who was it? It... it may have been your son, sir. Mr. Adrian gave it a small chuckle, then cleared his throat, and <clears> continued <throat> speaking. Take him to the scrapyard. Don't let anybody find out about this, you hear me? Not even your manager. Got it, Mr. Adrian. I'll, I'll get right on that. The employee hung up, and went to the animatronic corpse. Once Mr. Adrian was off the phone, he left, <laughs> and he sighed. I can't believe this happened. Who would do something so cruel? After closing time, the employee had brought it to the scrapyard. He had the animatronic in the back of his truck. It was pouring with rain. The man working there asked him, What's that you got there? Oh, just some old robot my boss told me to get rid of. That's all. May I see your license? The employee handed the scrapyard worker his ID. Scott and Michaels? Yep, that's me. Well, Mr. Michaels, go right ahead. Thank you. Scotty went on through and drove to the very back of the scrapyard. He got out of his truck and pulled the animatronic out into a pile of rusty scrap metal. <laughs> Sorry I yelled at you, kid. I, I can't help but feel like this is my fault. Hopefully your father won't grieve too much of your death. Rest in peace. He drove off. The night grew darker, and the storm grew worse. Suddenly, he woke up. He took a big gasp of air and he started panicking. Sounds so odd. My, my hands! I have the 
Mark's hands! I can't forgive them. Did, did I die? Am I dead? No, 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 I, I can't be. I can't be. No, it, it's not. No, it's not true. I, it's not fair. I can't be dead. Help me. No, please. Stop on me out. No. The loud storm and thunder made his scream sound as quiet as a mouse. The oldest son of Victor Adrian is left to rot.